Pulse chain, what would be nice to have? Hashtag Pulse chain. A uh, list of useful contract addresses like WPLS on Ethereum and bridging tokens from ETH to Pulse chain. I mean, we have, we sort of have that. We, we have the bridge. It'd be nice to have some more metrics on the bridge for sure. To see some, I would like to see a trend over time. That's what I've been kind of looking for, but I, I don't think we have it right now. We can see what's been bridged over and how much the dollar value is. And we can kind of look at them up and down, but uh, the, the numbers go up and down. But it'd be nice to see historically, like, you know, can we see trends of stable coins moving into Pulse Chain over time? Or can we see them it going sideways? Or can we see it going down and be able to uh, you know, use that kind of data to, to see see how thing, how how healthy things are going, kind of, in a way? See what people are doing. Pulse X, single size staking. So apparently RH is on board with single size staking. He uh, took it to heart. A lot of the people who were talking about that was very important and very much sought after feature in Pulse X. So he is uh, put it, it's, it's, you know, I don't know if this list is ordered, but the first thing you put on here is SSS. Auto routing across V1 and V2. I thought we had some auto routing. Yeah, I know you could turn, or you could turn it on on one of them, V1 or V2. I'm not sure which one. I remember turning it on uh, and checking it out though. Uh, two or three weeks ago, faster auto routing finding. So yeah, that could be. Uh, I know it was. There was a delay, or it was slower, or something like that. And leaving the last auto route path to view, that'd be cool. Uh, bridge, remove the claim button. Yeah, make that automatic. I think that was. Uh, I remember. I thought I thought about that before. I'm like, hey, why isn't this automatic? Like, why does it can't just be a automatic claim thing? Why do you need to click it? There's a trustless way to do that, um, or otherwise interesting way to do it that could be in there timer on when it's useful hit refresh yeah timer would be good too and then around you need to add the token to your wallet that bridge out but yeah maybe there's a auto button like uh, that helps you add the tokens or make sure the wallet looks good and all that stuff wallet though mm, this is the first time i've seen him i tweeted about this it's the first time i've seen him mention wallet in a while and i know there's some community built wallets out there and what i'm seeing to be doing great too uh, but I, I've always, you know, been thinking mm, it'd be really cool. I've been fascinated. You know, we waited, uh, we waited two years. We were excited for two years over Pulse Chain, and and that was a, uh, that was that was didn't exist until it did. So, you know, Richard talked about the wallet before. He's talked about the all that kind of vertical integration stuff. So, uh, wallet here, he says, do most of the stuff for you automatically. So, I would like to hear him elaborate on that. Uh, I certainly hope. I'm hoping that, you know, maybe during the next Hex conference, Maddie's got a thing coming up uh, around the high stakes weekend, I believe, in Austin. So I'm hoping Richard will speak there. Uh, who knows if he will or not, but that'd be cool if we could get uh, a, a few hours. I don't know, I'd like to have a few hours just hearing him talk about stuff and converse uh, with people and, and all that. But uh, it sounds like do this stuff for you automatically. So it seems like some integration with, PulseX talking to Pulse Chain, maybe talking to the bridge. Who knows if there'll be a wallet coin or not? Uh, talked about the tokenomics and kind of did some polls and asked people to guess about that too. So that should be interesting. Third party sites. So someone will have to submit a request to them, probably in their GitHub. Minimize showing the bridge logos to take tokens. Okay, so this is improvements he's talking about for uh, stuff outside the ecosystem or uh, community built stuff that doesn't exist yet. Then match showing the bridge, logo stick token, stats not showing the bridge, and TLV, uh, TBL, uh, total value locked. Good stuff. Uniswap showing the logo for WPLS, uh, show the info site volume breaking, and also the DeFi sites don't show anything about the hundreds of millions of dollars bridged into Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Yeah. Uh, on ramps, exchanges, devs, enterprise, retail adoption. It's all you guys calling and emailing as your friend. So it sounds like, if I'm just the way I'm reading this, it sounds like these types of stuff which is not stuff that Richard's uh, dev team would be working on directly. It would be native to the ecosystem. This is stuff that uh, sounds like you can help by calling your senator or uh, calling your calling all the people exchanges or, or places that uh, may be missing the information or otherwise. And yeah, it's like you do the work, right? That's, uh, that's the motto. He does not do work for us. We don't have expectations. He doesn't work for us. We don't work for him. But if we want to see things happen, we can do work on our own beautiful system i like it the better the list of nice to have easier is for people to build them yeah so it's this it's kicking out sounds like kicking off conversation it's got a lot of thoughts that he's he's had or seen from the community kind of brainstorming 
uh, people have asked before in many times, especially when Richard's uh, speaking at conferences or around what can we do? How can we have utility? All that stuff. And after Pulse Chain is launched, not everything is there. Um, still a lot of uh, stuff to be built, a lot of products to be launched as well. So, uh, you know, there's still potential there. There's still, uh, it's, I mean, it's not, I would say it's quite green pastures, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that hasn't launched yet or isn't showing all the stats uh, and could be better for onboarding and otherwise. So if I'm thinking about how to get the best order execution from the stable to PLS across the bridge, I think mathematically it's split across the thick pairs at the east side. You can reach the liquidity on the other side. If you don't split beforehand, you can only access a single pair of thick liquidity. Then our bots make the difference in less than the pairs you didn't hit. I'll get this him just kind of spitballing here around some of the ways to get the best, uh, better order execution. Yeah, if it weren't for 15 minute bridge, mandatory delay for finalization east side, someone could make a single transaction across the train, balance on the east side, move to PLS, swap each of the pairs. Okay. Uh, most people don't really care about saving the 0.1% here. And we see lots of people pay 1% just to swap minimize button instead of using drip directly. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. That's almost makes me think of, he's like kind of thinking about some wallet stuff here too. So that's been, you know, if you were thinking about the tokenomics for the wallet, what kind of swap would that do? Would it burn PLSX? Would it, there be a wallet coin? Would it, you know, would there be another sacrifice? All this stuff too, just got me thinking too. Anyways, um, if you have some comments, if you have some feedback, if you have some things that uh, you think would be, you would like to see in Pulse Chain, there's a thread here. Uh, if you have people who uh, you know that you could talk to or otherwise ask about some of this stuff, yeah, he's saying, uh, um, you know, not everything is showing everything as it should, so feel free to reach out. On ramps, uh, you know, it sounds like Coast is uh, going to be uh, trying to launch uh, or going to be launching their stablecoin again. Sounds like they found a banking partner, so uh, that's that's great. Hopefully, everything goes uh, smoothly for them, and we have some native stable coins and more on ramps, and and uh, not have any problems there with banking system. That should be great as well. So that's yeah, that's most of the tweet. Again, I just when I saw the wallet, I actually saw him mention that again. I got a little excited because I thought, okay, it's still on the list of things to do. You know, still still sounds like it's uh, that may be coming at some point, and uh, that would be pretty cool to have. And uh, just, I don't know, just all the R, all the RH products, just, you know, nobody thought Inc. was going to do anything. And, hey, you know, it went down a lot from the all-time high, but it also outperformed. You know, it also went up, what was it, like 20X or something like that? It outperformed Pulse and PulseX and and everything else in that short period of time, of course. Um, but that was, uh, so I like RH products. I think they're pretty cool.